we are Joel and Leah. And today's video is all about TV channels in the UK. So let's get going. Let's talk about the channels we watch, uh, if you have to pay to watch them. Yeah. Who pays for a TV licence? Why young people aren't watching telly anymore? All these let's sorts of things. Let's talk about it. So traditionally, Analog TV in the UK was made up of five channels, wasn't it? When we were Ooh, younger. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when there was actually no remote? You actually had to go up and press yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And there was One, only two, five. three, four, and five. These are the channels that everyone knows. Yeah. So you've got BBC One on Channel One, BBC, BBC Two, two which on is channel, channel Two, ITV, yeah. which used to be Channel Three, yeah. still is, isn't still it? Is. You press three. ITV One, though, I think it's called. Oh, now. ITV One. Yeah, because they've now got ITV Two, ITV Three, ITV, ITV Four. four. Oh gosh, it's like a family tree, isn't it? <laughs> and then you'd have, what would that be? Channel 4. Channel, channel 4, 4 on Channel 4. And then Channel 5. On Channel 5. Which is a really bad channel. It would be slightly fuzzy, I remember. Channel like all five. the other channels would be crisp and then Channel 5 was a bit fuzzy. Yeah, it'd be like, oh fine, what's on Channel 5? Yeah. It's like last pick, it's awful. Oh definitely. And nowadays I doubt many people watch Channel 5 No, in fact one of my friends who's an actress got a gig on a Channel 5 show. She's still... Who's seen it? She's yeah, no one. <laughs> Sorry. But obviously nowadays it's not analog TV. We have satellite, cable, whatever you call it. So there's hundreds of different channels. But if we try to stick to like the main ones in this video, do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah, because obviously everyone's got like Sky or Netflix yeah. or we're gonna tell you about them in this video. S keep watching. S stay tuned. <laughs> stay <laughs> tuned. Ad break. <laughs> well, that's one thing that the BBC does that no other companies do. So let's talk about this first, BBC. BBC. So the BBC stands for the British Broadcasting Corporation. Yeah. Or the Beeb, as we like to call the it. The Beeb. I in London. That. Yeah. Oh, are you working at the Beeb? You're working at the Beeb. Yeah. Oh, I work yeah. at the Beeb. Oh, I just did a sitcom with the Beeb. With the Beeb. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a really like wanky thing <laughs> to say. Anyway, so the Beeb don't have adverts on their entire network, if you want to call it on their channel and that's because everybody in the UK who watches the TV pays a TV license. Mm -hmm. So that's right, we pay a license to watch TV. If you own a TV you have to have a license. license. If you don't own a TV you still have to pay a license because you might have a laptop and yeah. that laptop will allow you to play um, catch up telly, yeah. catch up TV. BBC iPlayer for example. Yeah, on demand, iPlayer, any of these yeah. things that allow you to watch catch up you have to pay a TV license exactly which I know that some people probably think that's a bit weird if you're not used to it obviously we're used to it I think it stands at about 150 pounds 50 pence per year yeah but I think it's great because I cannot stand adverts ad breaks I'm so impatient I think most people in our generation are cannot stand waiting to watch something you want to watch now and in most places don't people just use the ad break to make a cup of tea or yeah. to go and do something go mm -hmm. to the loo yeah and um, and that's just yeah that's the great thing about bbc you know you're not going to get an advert if you're watching yeah. a, a tv show if it's a half an hour soap like my grandma was watches eastenders yeah. which is like a british soap and there's no adverts. Yeah. Amazing. It's great. Whereas if you watch Coronation Street, which is a soap on ITV, there will be an advert slap bang in the middle. Which some people like, because like I said, it allows them to get up, go and make a cup of tea, or go to the toilet and sit down. But I'm like, if you can't sit down and watch something for more than 15 minutes, then you got a problem. Yeah, yeah you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, with the adverts being on some networks and not on others, um, it's also reflective in like, the production values of the mm, show. So yeah. for instance, ITV, uh, which was channel three traditionally on a normal telly, would have a bigger budget, be able to pay their actors more, be able mm -hmm. to spend more money on making their show look great yeah. than the BBC would. Yeah. And it's like a well-known fact amongst actors and producers and people that work in the industry that the BBC don't have a lot of money to spend on their projects. Yeah. So if you're an actor in an ITV drama, you're going to get paid a lot more than if you're an actor in a BBC drama. Yeah. But that said, BBC do, their dramas are actually quite big scale though. You yeah. wouldn't be able to notice the difference between a BBC drama and an ITV in terms of production value, would yeah. you? Yeah. And then as well as that, I just thought about a BBC drama that had a great budget and that's because it was BBC America. Like yeah. The Musketeers is BBC uh, America. Yeah, yeah. Amazing budget. So much money spent on these amazing sort yeah. of dramas, period oh, dramas. And so many of the shows we've recommended to you guys to watch, whether it's for mm -hmm. like listening to accents or lang learning language. Mm -hmm. um, 
the BBC, do, I think they do it best, personally. And I think they combine with other companies as well to get those big budgets. So mm. I know Channel 4 sometimes work with BBC in order to do, like, for example, Miranda with BBC Comedy. Yeah. That was shown on BBC, but if you get the DVD, it's got a little four in the corner because I think Channel 4 oh, cool. helps produce it, and I think that's how they get more money behind it because they pair up with... That's really cool. Film 4 or oh, Channel film four. 4 or that's amazing. whoever. So yeah, you've, you've heard some of these other names. You've got Channel 4. They're mm -hmm. like probably as big as ITV, if not yeah. bigger. I think nowadays they are. I didn't think they used to be. But Channel 4 but was blown up. Huge. And Some great dramas on there. I believe like Channel 4 also own like the Box Network, which is yeah. like E4, More 4, yeah. 4 Music, 4. Oh, yeah. There's so many like siblings, if it was like a family tree, there's so many yeah. little like frogs coming off it. Definitely. And they've all got their sort of niche, whether it's music, comedy. Yeah, so there's, there's so much going on. And do you know what? Most people now in the UK, they just have um, Sky which is similar to cable. Yeah. Which is like yeah. a it's like a box that has loads of TV channels on it. Do you have Sky? No, we used to have Sky. Not anymore. What's the other one? Freeview. Freeview is another one. Virgin Media have their own version as well of Sky. I think it's just called Virgin. Yeah, so Virgin, you get loads of sh you get loads of TV channels. You get like 500 channels. Yeah. I swear most of us watch like 5 of them. Oh, definitely. And I don't think I'd pay for Sky anymore because Freeview often comes free with a TV. With a smart TV. With a smart TV. And with online, obviously, Netflix nowadays. Netflix isn't... 5 99 yeah. a month. You can't argue but with it. But even you the other day were saying that you were thinking of stopping your Netflix thing. Yeah, because I... Do you know what? I do watch Netflix sometimes, but I don't watch it enough mm. to justify... You're probably going to think, she is so tight with money. Mm. But it's... Yeah, it's only £6 a month, but I'd probably watch it, like, once. Yeah. So I may as well just go to the cinema and watch a film. It's true. And I've not binge watched a series in ages because I don't have time. I just yeah. don't have time. Always working. Always hustling. Hustling. Hustler. Hustler. <laughs> but um, for example, going back to BBC. Yeah. BBC have loads of different channels. BBC Two tends to be where BBC trial new programmes if they don't quite trust that it's going to be really popular on BBC One because BBC One is where everyone wants to be. Their main audience. Yeah, so you'll find lots of, for example, The Great British Bake Off, when it was on BBC, it's now been bought by Channel 4, which is a whole other topic. Oh, but, wow. Um, that started on BBC Two because BBC were like, mm, it might not be very successful, so let's put it on BBC Two. Wow. And then it moved to BBC One, so like, wow, everyone loves this. I can't believe The Bake Off was once on, was once on I know. BBC Two. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. That's mental, isn't it? But then it got bought for like £25 million by Channel 4 because BBC couldn't afford that price. Yeah. Which is again another sort of downside of a publicly funded yeah. know, body is that we, they lost out on a really great programme. And off, yeah, often you'll see like, um, I don't know whether The Voice was once a BBC thing. BB oh, or was it yeah. BBC? Was it ITV now who have The Voice? Yeah, I think it but used to be But I think BBC. it did used to be BBC, The yeah. Voice, The Voice UK. It did because I remember X Factor used to be on at the same time as The, the Voice, Voice on BBC and it was like a big clash it between was... who was going to get most views. Yeah, and you know, views schmooze. Zoella yeah. gets more views than BBC and The exactly. Voice, so, so. <laughs> so TV's dying. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, there's three million people tuning into The Voice. And it's like, well... Cool. cool. There are so many more people online. <laughs> There's a gamer that has 12 million oh, views definitely. right now. Well, because also, we find that we've recommended some shows to you guys that aren't in the UK, and then you can't access it because BBC or ITV or Channel 4 don't let people from outside the UK watch. Whereas mm. online, Netflix, YouTube, anyone can watch it, except if you're in China. So, yeah, yeah, that's so that's true. That's the great thing about the internet, is you're not having to... And we have to deal with that, with like NBC yeah, and America Comedy Central we can't watch yeah. on YouTube. There's loads of stuff on YouTube you can't watch. Do you remember when you were finally able to access SNL? You were oh, so happy! I loved it! Because you love all the episodes! Oh, it was so good. I'm so glad that we've got access... Well, we don't on mainstream media, that's the no. thing. SNL isn't on our TVs, it's no. just I've got a way to access it online now. Yeah. And um, that's why I think... TV is dying a bit because we're we want everything now. Yeah, and I think you, viewers everywhere want to be able to watch something when they want to watch it. There's yeah. no point saying to a millennial, oh, it's on at 9pm on a Saturday. 
Yeah. I'll be like, no, I'll watch it when I want to watch yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. How funny it is that so people spoiled. used to like do their day and make sure they're home at seven so they can sit and watch that no. that drama. You're like, telly. I want to binge watch ten episodes of this yeah. tonight. Yeah. I do not want to immediately. Yeah. <laughs> With my food delivered yeah. to my house. Or I want to get halfway through an episode and go right, pause and then go and do something else and then come back to it and it's in exactly the same place. We're so spoiled, yeah, we aren't are spoiled. we? We're so spoiled. And so many young people just don't have TVs. Yeah. As... Oh, actually I do. I was gonna say, I don't, but I, I do. You do? <laughs> um, and that's because everyone has a laptop. Who needs a TV? Yeah, it's true. And you've got Joel and Leah. Why do you need TV? Honestly, please let us know in the comments below if you've ever thought, shall I watch TV right now or shall I go and watch YouTube? And if specifically, us on YouTube. Uh, I just want to know. Yeah, so you better all say yes. Yes, I do that. I do that. And let us know if this video has been helpful for you because we did want to make something about like TV in the UK, yeah. how the channels work, what channels what. And we'd love to see like an American equivalent if anyone's made one. Let yeah, us know. We'd love to great. watch that. And let us know if there's any other ideas because we like talking about these things that are so obvious to us that might not be to you. Yeah. For example, TV channels, English money or British housing, like we love these things. So let us know if there are any other things. Yeah, and that's it guys. If you wanna buy us a coffee, there yeah. is a link in the description so we can have a coffee when we next watch telly together. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube together. <laughs> and we will see you next time. See you soon guys. Bye. Bye.